Who is your favorite person from Jamaica? Or your favorite leader? Okay, Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey? Yes. Why is that? So he started the revolution. He was the first, was the basically first hero we had, and we have. Yeah. Uh, he led peace, uh, black people to freedom, to the Jamaicans. And he was, a, he was a great philosopher. Now, having just come from Africa, I, of course, can't help but notice the similarities between those nations and Jamaica. And there are many, if you know what to look for. But the political history of Jamaica, I feel, is very different. The African nations, many, after independence, either plunged into violence, had violent civil wars, they suffered one military coup after another, and many had failed economic experiments. Now, with exceptions, of course. But in Jamaica, you had basically a stable democracy ever since independence. Another fact about Jamaica that's interesting is that many of the early leaders and all of the early prime ministers of Jamaica were biracial. Some of them, at first glance, you would think they were white men. But back decades before independence, 1938, you had people like Norman Manley advocating for universal suffrage and all of these men, who later went on to become prime ministers, they were democratically elected. They had the respect of the people. They weren't dictators. And I think that says a lot about the tolerance that you can find in Jamaican society. Now what's interesting to me, if you think about it, Jamaica is so well known internationally that there are actually two different stereotypes about Jamaica that you're probably aware of. The first, of course, is the uh, laid-back, chill, ganja smoke and Rasta guy. And the other would be the bomba clat, me go bash your head in butty boy, gangster type. <laughs> Excuse the language, uh, if you're Jamaican. But these actually, to me, represent two different sides of the country. The former, in my opinion, would be places like St. Elizabeth, the countryside, the rest of Jamaica. Where the other one, the gangster type, comes from Kingston. And if you look at the population map, roughly 50% of the country lives here in Kingston or the metro area. And 50% lives in the rest of the country. What's up, motherfucker? Hey. What is it, Puerto Rican? American, but not Puerto Rican. That's what I was saying. Alright, so I think that basically wraps up our tour of downtown Kingston. To be honest, it really wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I kind of think Kingston gets way more of a bad rap than it deserves. And yes, there is gang violence. And if you come here, please don't be stupid and go looking for it. But Kingston's not bad. I think its only problem is, you know, it's not the stereotypical image of Jamaica that all the tourists come here for. It's not a beach resort. It's a city. But anyway, if you come to Jamaica, you don't need to be afraid of Kingston. Just don't be stupid, you know? It's a metropolis. There's nice places to stay in New Kingston, uptown. It's good restaurants. Enjoy the jerk chicken, the ackee and sawfish, and don't worry too much. Anyway, it's been fun. After this, we're getting back to the countryside, and I'll see you there. One love me, Bridget.